Hello, what is up guys? Um, so I was reading r slash learn programming this morning, and apparently this guy just got his ass handed to him by a quiz at a job interview. So, I mean, the question wasn't really hard, but he seems pretty upset, but the question was, uh, write a function to return true or false after looking at a string. Example of strings that do pass. So you got your um, strings with matching brackets, and example of strings that don't pass. You've got not matching bracket strings. So this is um, the classic brackets matching problem that I did in, uh, in my first year. So uh, let's see if we can come up with our own solution to this. And I've got my um, Visual Studio open. I'm going to probably code in C. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with this. All right, so first of all, the general idea is you want to have like a stack structure. And what you do is every time you encounter an open bracket, if it's an open bracket, you push that open bracket onto the stack. And if you encounter a closed bracket, you push that closed bracket on, like you pop that uh, bracket off the stack, and then you check if the one that you popped off and the one that you're currently reading matches. Um, and if they don't, then you return false. And uh, there's two other conditions that we'll have to check, but I'll tell you what that is later for now. Once you get the general idea, it's not that hard. Okay, so I'm going to start with my includes. I'm going to use string.h for the sterline function. I'm going to include stdio.h in case we need to um, output anything. Include, oh my god, include a, um, what else do we need? Assert h to check if the function works correctly and gonna jump right into it and start with the boolean return boolean gonna call this function matching it's gonna take a string now first of all we have to create our stack structure I'm gonna use that using a allocated array so I'm gonna do a car star or actually car stack um, 512 is a good number gonna do ins num alums zero. If you don't get this, don't worry, I'll explain it later. Gonna start with our iteration. Int i equals negative one int len equals stir len of s minus one while i plus plus is less than len check to make sure this is correct. Mm, yep, seems good to me. Well, i++ plus plus is less than len if... Uh, well, let's get our current character first. So, car cur... I'm just going to call it that. cur c equals um, s of i. And what we want to do is we want to check if this is an open bracket. So if is, op is open, I'm just going to do a shorthand way of saying that. Cur C, then we want to perform, perform our open actions. Open actions. And, stupid bug. Yeah, I have the window open right now. It's a pretty nice day. I'm just inside here coding. If is close, uh, cur c, then I'm gonna do my close checks. Can't type. Now, um, we, I haven't de uh, defined these functions yet, but I'm using a little bit of top down design. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them right now. Pool is open, car c. I'm going to use an if statement here, if c equals, yeah, if I'm going too fast in these videos, just let me know, because I don't want to be like, make it hard for people to um, keep up. Oh. Alright, then return false, I mean return true, obviously, else return false. 
and I probably want to change these to the uh, three different types of brackets. Like you can obviously add more types of brackets if you want, but and then I'm gonna have a matching is close function. Car C, copy and paste this over, change it up a little bit. Now, if you don't understand um, this part of the function, basically, if it's true, it returns. If it's if it doesn't, then um, I'll go on to the return false. Um, yep, these look pretty good. So, oh, there's a missing bracket there. Okay, so if is open curse C, then what I want to do is push that onto the stack. So stack num alums plus plus equals cur c it's kind of a lazy one-liner but I'm pretty sure you guys can read that um, and if it's not if it's a close then first of all you gotta check if there's anything left on the stack to pop off so what we do is we check if num alums equals equals zero then we want to return false because there's too many closing brackets and not enough opening brackets and then the second step is if we if um these brackets that the one that you just popped off and the one that you're currently reading is matching. So if not is matching, um I'm just gonna put that in there. Pop character first. Popped equals stack minus minus num lms pops and curse C. If they're not matching, then what you want to do is return false. Alright, again, I'm going to define this function right now. Top-down design. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's a pretty good design pattern, or programming paradigm, whatever you want to call it. Is matching car C1, car C2. If C1 is equal to opening brace, then check it. if C2 is equal to the match and closing one. Um, if it is, then return true. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to do it for the other three ones. Going to copy and paste. Alright, so if none of these are um, correct, then return false. So it basically means that you don't have matching brackets, whatever. Um, yep, that looks pretty good. And now, what we want to do is, at the very end of our This looks good. At the very end of our loop, we want to check if there's still remaining elements. If there's still remaining elements, then you know you know something's fucked up, because uh, there's not enough closing brackets to match all the opening brackets. Doesn't equals to zero. There's still stuff in the still brackets that haven't been closed. Return false. Otherwise, if everything's good. Return true. Mm. Uh, this function looks fine. Let's see what we can let's see if we can test this out. So I'm gonna assert. I'm gonna use one of the examples from the web page. Assert. Matching. Whoa! Missed some brackets there. Pretty ironic. Okay, so um, we didn't see that there. Um, I'm gonna use a get car to pause everything, just to make sure there's no um, errors. Like third, and I'm gonna do a example that fails the um, the test. Alright, let's see how this guy runs.
Whoops. Fucked up again, right there. Alright, so nothing was outputted, that means everything ran correctly. Um, Alright, that looks pretty good. So, let's go over the, um, let's go over the functions that I've made. So, this one's pretty straightforward, this one's pretty straightforward. Now, first of all, I define a stack using a pre-allocated array of uh, 512 elements, 512 bytes, half a kilobyte, not a lot of memory, um, but it's a decent size to make sure that you don't have too many brackets. I mean, these are pretty small strings, but if you have to really, like, if you um, wanted to test if um, somebody's source code is matching brackets, like, uh, you want to test um, if uh, a huge program has matching brackets, you probably want to dynamically allocate this, but that's irrelevant. Let's just focus on what we have. So, the stack... The iteration is from, I want to iterate positively. This is kind of like a lazy way to do it without thinking a lot about the indexes. It's just how I do it. Um, current character, you always want to get the current character. Check if it's open. If it's open, push it onto the stack. If it's closed, uh, try to pop something off. If you can't, return false. If you can't, if you can pop something off, check if it's matching. If it's, match if it's not matching, you want to return false. And at the very end, check if everything's good, there's no more elements inside your stack, and then return true. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's not very hard. And uh, my tip for you, if you want to go into an interview and do some algorithm questions, do some programming quizzes, is that you really have to study your data structures. Like, data structures are used for, like, almost everything. Like, programming is manipulation of data. And if you have a very good background in data structures, then it'll help you um, think about uh, algorithms and questions and problems like that in like a very uh, organized way. And that'll really help you out when you're doing your um, programming interviews, job interviews, co-op, whatever. So um, thanks for watching my video. Please like this video and subscribe. Thanks.